Hello. The, this time, this time, it's another Drupal video, and we'll be doing an in, an entire Drupal series on um creating a uh, e-commerce system. What we're basically going to be building is like literally the Uber um cart system on top of the awesome Drupal framework um now I first want to highlight that there are some other options there but the, the new solution we're going to use mainly the e-commerce package but I think that's a bit overused and the um and there's better options out there so let me just get into it. The system we're going to be using is called, funnily enough, Ubercart, and you can find it at ubercart.org. And what what they basically do is make two Drupal modules um, that have their kind of cart system built on top of it. Um, I'm going to spend an entire video here um which is gonna be this video talking about the modules that come with it because it's um it's a big package it's only a, f a few kilobytes so it's not it's not that bad but it's kind of like when you download cck views so if we look here at ubercart.org um and we go to the downloads page. I found it easy just to go direct from here. And I will just see there's a Drupal 5 version and Drupal 6 beta. Everything that I'm going to do going over the Drupal 6 version. So, once you've got the module downloaded, um, yeah, and you go into your modules. I I forgot to mention you'll also need token module which can be found at drupal.org slash project slash token. We used it in our path photo video. Um and if we just take away or all the core modules um there's five sections dedicated to ubercart and there's all those modules there um all those modules belong to ubercart so let's go through them the first one the ones that you're going to be needing most are the store the product and the order module those are the core ones that you want to enable. On top of that, you have cart, and that's how you can create a basic um, or uh, shopping facility. But there's way more than that. You can have cart links. You can even you can even have a stock checker. You can have a a way for different payment methods. There's a credit card module to allow people to pay by credit card. This mon this module is really really the the, the creme de la creme of e-commerce. Um, and there's even a thing that will let, let you quote wait some monitor postage. It's awesome this, and um, that's why I'm gonna be kind of holding your hand as we go for it because. It's um quite a big module, so that that would um that was just defining a bit of the modules. Um, what we're gonna else we're gonna do is is just simply um enable the core modules. Uh, the ones they required. So we're gonna have c 
cards, which is the basis. And then we need an order form. So basically look at what you need and then enable that. And we're going to need to enable a store. on the product that's the core of what we need to enable and as we'll wait for my slow local um so that you can allow credit card in or authorization right through a Drupal site. And it tells us I need to enable the con conditional action module. Okay, so if we, we now have an entire new section of our admin strip panel. This is how we involved this is and we have orders customers products and configuration uh, so that's basically the core of ubercart and then in the next time we're gonna um be looking at um we shall be looking at how to create our first product, so wait for the next video.